Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell where the song ended because I could It wasn't playing through my headset either. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Oh, boy. That's fun stuff there. Uh, anyway, folks, welcome to the Freakers Ball. Um, we had a little technical issue there where it was coming through the video but not through the audio portion of the show. Uh, hopefully everybody's hearing me now. It should be all good on uh, both the audio and uh, the video. Uh, that, that was that was fun. Uh, I, I was watching the video, but I, I didn't, yeah. Anyway, so uh, this is the Freakers Ball, everybody. Uh, welcome to it. It's Friday night here. July 24th, 2020, which incidentally, are you guys hearing me now, hopefully? You guys hearing me? Um, all right. Uh, nobody's saying anything in the chat there. So it's hard to tell. Uh, anyway, uh, so incidentally, uh, July 24th, that means today starts my final month in the 50s, in my 50s decade. <laughs> One month from today, I'll, I'll be into the 60s decade, uh, my, my, my 60s decade. Not your sixties decade. Well, I don't know where you are. You're all, you're all wherever you are. But uh, one month from today, I turned sixty. So, uh, goodbye to the fifties in a month. All right. <laughs> anyway, welcome to everybody that's out there in the various places you may be out there uh, listening in, whether it's uh, on reallibertymedia dot com on the Freakers Ball Show page. Another month in a month. Yeah. Uh, and, and um. <laughs> Or, or uh, if you're on rlmradio.xyz, or if you're on vaughn.live slash Real Liberty Media, uh, that, that, these, these are some of the places you may be. And um, so uh, welcome to everybody out there in all the various places. And welcome to everybody here in the chat. Yeah, I'm an old hippie. Yes, indeed. How you doing, Moose? Can I hear you? Hello. Yes, I do hear you. <laughs> all right. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, the senior discount stuff coming up. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah at the uh, the local grocery store here. I think it's, uh, it's either 10, 15, or 20%. I forget which. But uh, either way, a good discount at the grocery store uh, that starts when you turn 60. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So that, That'll that, be good. Yeah, you know, food's too much. so that, that, that'll It help. is. That'll, that'll help. Um Yes, it will. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. Might so, as well take advantage of it. Absolutely. And uh, so uh, uh, welcome to everybody in the chat over here tonight on the Freakers Ball. We've got the Kate and the, and the Chloe and the Rob and the, and the, and the CT and uh, who else we got in here? Um, uh... I saw other people, uh, uh, Mike, SLC Mike, although he may be away, Rome's, uh, who else we got in here chatting? I don't know, whoever else there in the chat, that, <laughs> if, I, if I didn't see you chatting, I didn't say your name, um, <laughs> the gravy train, oh, you betcha, you betcha. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, thanks to the Moose Girl for sharing with us all week long now, mm -hmm. the uh, Billy Strings live shows. Uh, being streamed from uh, where Tennessee? Yep, Nashville. Nashville, Nashville. Nashville. Okay. Yep, yeah. Nashville. Yep. So she's been treating us all to a bunch of that uh, crazy bluegrass style Billy Strings music, psych psych psychedelic blues bluegrass. Yeah, uh, <laughs> psychedelic at times. Well, he uses those pedals, you know. Yeah. To distort the sound. Right. Right. I think they all have. I think the mandolin, the guitar the banjo, and I'm not sure about the bass. The bass might not have a pedal, but I'm pretty sure Billy's got, like, a few of them. Oh, he's got a whole panel there, yeah. He's yeah, he's got them. a panel. And then, like, the other, like, the mandolin player and the banjo player have a couple, too, I think. Yeah. But the bass player, he doesn't. Yeah, he's, he's just playing bass. But it it, it's, it makes it... I think it's better because it's not just straight up normal regular bluegrass like you you know what I mean. Right. It adds something to it. I think. Yeah. yeah. It makes it more interesting. No, it's I guess. great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I think it's really those guys are really super talented. So. Yeah. Obviously, so. Um, yeah, I know it's been fun watching it. You know, so. Yeah. Um, 
it's something to do. I mean, it's only 10 bucks a show, and I think they're doing nine of these. And right. today was the eighth one, I believe. Okay. And, um. Yeah, he said he's going to be back tomorrow, so whatever. Yep, tomorrow yeah. they're doing a different album. And they threw in a, a bunch of other songs tonight, too. They didn't just do the, the Tinfoil and Turmoil album. Oh, okay. But tomorrow they're doing their latest album, Home, H O M E. Uh huh. Is the name of their album. Their latest album. Anyway, um. It's kind of getting pretty obsessive for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, luckily it's a, it's a limited engagement, and uh, yeah, so you'll so you'll run out after that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so. mean, no, it's 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 gone into like buying merch and buying pins from people and buying homemade patches that people have made, Billy Strings related. And pins and shirts and stickers and it's pretty uh it's gotten pretty uh pretty addictive. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's fun, you enjoy it. It's and... better than heroin. I don't know, you don't even... uh, well I don't know about that. Have you ever tried... I don't know, I don't either. I mean it's better than me spending money on heroin, I would think. <laughs> so yeah, you know so. um and <sighs> so I have to get a board now, like I, oh I have a bulletin board, but I got to start a board with all my pins and they're hard to come by and they do these contests or whatever when they, when they're going to like put them live, you know, to sell them. Right. They only make like a hundred of them or something. So they'll let you know on Facebook, like there's a group on Facebook called Billy things. Ah, okay. And that's where people post all their homemade items or their links to their homemade items, you know, their Etsy pages or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's just fun. And I, what I'm doing, what I'm doing with the patches is I'm working on making a Billy Strings inspired jean jacket. Okay. Decorating a jean jacket with patches. Basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that, I mean, that's how that's how bad this has gotten. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, you're you're a groupie. Right. You know. I mean, so it's like, <laughs> you know, it, it's just fun. It's fun. Hey, it's something, something, something to do, and it's it's uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, get, get, I mean, get... other. I haven't been spending money on concert tickets, right? Or festival tickets at all? Or, or you know? traveling? Just, you know. or, or gas money, right? To travel, so you know. <laughs> Why are some people horrible? Uh, okay. Hmm. Who, who knows, knows, Matt? Are you tuned in, Matt? Who knows? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just been fun. It's just been something to do. To keep myself entertained. Sure, sure. So. No, it's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good, clean, fun. Yep. Yep. So, but, anyway. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What else going on? Anything exciting out there in Eau Claire? No, I just saw some guy slip out tonight at Walmart, though. Uh, over a mask? Yeah. The, the lack of him having one. He flipped out on those poor women that were working for Walmart, standing outside, asking, you know, uh, you know, they they don't forcing it. You know what I mean? They they don't have to say anything. That I know they they they're told to do that as their job, but they don't actually have to. I don't know. I they, don't work at Walmart. I don't know their their whole deal. Um, all I know is when I was in there, I seen at least three people not wearing them. So they're wearing them to get in there and then taking them off or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's so dumb. It's it's not effective. No, it's not. It's it's dangerous. It's it's downright it, dangerous. It's not effective, and I and not I don't I don't agree with it. And and just I, I'm so tired of this though. Just because I'm against the mask thing does yeah. not mean that I'm a fucking Trump supporter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously, people. Well, look, Fuck he, off if you think that, because uh, no, no, that's just stupid, dumb thinking, okay? Trump, Trump's gone all in on the masks now. He's, 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 he's pushing the masks. Yeah, and then they got Fauci throwing out the first pitch at the game. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, and then he's sitting in the stands right next to two people. Two people are, he's in the middle of two people. Right. In three chairs. And he's not wearing his mask. Right, right. It's like, come on. 
It's so, so wait, wait. Now the thing is, uh, you know, people were saying because you didn't like the mask, not in favor of the mask, you're a Trump thing. But now that yeah. Trump, Trump is behind the masks. Yeah, he's in favor of them. All of a sudden. So all you mask wearers are Trump fans. Got that? All you mask wearers, uh-huh. you're, you're Trump <laughs> fans. He's just like that now. Because he's wearing a mask now. That's right. He's, and he's telling you to wear them. So, um, <laughs> so if you wear, and, okay, so your, your mask let, might, your mask might as well be a MAGA hat. Right. <laughs> it might as well be, it might as well say MAGA right on it. That's right. <laughs> anyway, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, it's just, it's just asinine. Okay. So it's okay. It's not okay to walk into a restaurant without a mask. But you can walk into a restaurant with a mask on. But as soon as you're sitting at your table, you can take the mask off. Sure. Yeah, this sure. is dumb. This is... It, it, it makes it, no it, sense at oh, all. Oh, you know, the, the, all of this corona baloney is... It, is it's, yeah. It, it, it is nonsense. It's, it's just goofy. and it, It's right. out of control. It's way out of control. But, uh, yeah. I mean, but I'm not going to be the kind of person that's going to freaking start cussing out Walmart women employees when they're you know these women were over 50 no, or over 60. A, I don't know you know that, that's a, not cool dude no there, there's no reason to cuss them out just just say no. no I'm not putting a mask on and I'm still going into your store you gonna stop yeah, me yeah well then the, you know then who knows what they'll do I don't know what they'll do yeah, well, I don't that, know that's all right you find out but you? like I saw those people walking <laughs> around in there with nothing on right no masks on yeah. And they were walking right by many Walmart employees. And those Walmart employees weren't doing shit. They weren't saying anything to them. The only people saying anything to people were the ones at the door. Yeah. Well, look at, um, see what Kate wrote there? She's reading about the Rays. That's the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Rays right. fans at Ferg's. I'm not sure what Ferg's it is. It must be a bar, sports bar or something. Anyway, they require a mask if you're standing or walking, but not if you're sitting. <laughs> See, it's asinine. It's magic. It's freaking magic. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, Rob. I guess you could say that. And I don't, like, there was two guys that you could tell just got done working because they had their bright yellow shirts on. You could tell they were, like, construction or role construction people or yeah. you know, workers or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, they're not wearing masks. And they got let in. Because yeah. I'm sure they said, we're just going to go cash our check. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're going to tell these American, not even, American workers that they can't come into a store to get their money that they just earned and work their ass off for it, obviously, because of, the, you know, the, the the dirt and everything on their clothes. Right, right. You know, they they were hardworking guys, you know. Yeah. You need to tell me you're not going to let them come in to cash their check? That's bullshit. It is. Because they don't have a mask on? Sure. Come on now. Sure. And then I, I saw the lady. Well, there's some for sale. We have them for sale in the store. It's like, what good does that do if they go in without the mask on? It, it, it was, yeah, yeah. It's asinine, okay? It is, it it's is. absolutely asinine. You're right. All of this stuff. It is. <laughs> It's just, uh, I know, I know. It's, it, people are just losing their shit over this stuff, too. It's just ridiculous. Ah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I understand the anger. No one should have to, no one has the right, should have the right to tell another human being what the fuck to do. If it's, if, if it's about them, if they want to shoot up heroin, if they don't want to wear a fucking mask, if they don't want to wear a fucking seatbelt, if they don't want to wear a fucking helmet, that it should be up to that person. Absolutely. It shouldn't be up to anybody no government, no other person telling people what the fuck to do. You're what right is on wrong that. with you people? Do you really need someone to tell you to wear your seatbelt? I wear it because it's common fucking sense, okay? But yeah. I don't care if other people don't wear it. I, I, actually, I do care if my kids wouldn't wear their seatbelt. But they wear their seatbelt. <laughs> so I'm not worried about it. Right. Helmets? If you don't want to fucking wear a motorcycle helmet while you're riding a motorcycle, have at it. Have at it. Why does that affect me? Why should that should that even anger me? It doesn't affect me. Uh, there's, there's it's no... up to that individual person. No one has a right to fucking tell me that I have to do anything. Okay? Yeah. That there's... includes voting. Anything. Right, right. Breathing. No one has a right to tell me that I'm allowed to do that. Okay? 
Well, there's and if no helmet. If I smoke weed or a fucking whatever the fuck, that's up to me. As long as I'm not hurting anybody else or infringing on someone else's rights, quote unquote. Right. Then what is the problem? <laughs> Why do all these motherfucking people out there think they got the right to tell other people what to do? Be... Who the fuck are you? Yeah. You don't have a right to tell anybody else what the fuck to do. They think okay? they do. Or what to think. Right. So, so get out over yourselves. Absolutely. And stop doing that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what right do you... Oh, because you're right. Oh, because they're right, Grim. Uh, and of course. if we don't think the way they do, then we're fucking wrong, right? Yeah. That's bullshit. Sorry. That's it fucking is. fascism, it dude. Yeah, it is. That's fucking fascism. Telling me what the fuck to do. <laughs> stop telling me what the fuck to do. That's right. Gover government, well, whoever. Not even just the government, just anybody. Yeah, knock it the hell off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to play some music here. Um, All right, let's do that. And uh, hopefully, this is, hopefully this works. Uh, uh, I, 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 thought, I thought I had tested everything, but I know I didn't test the uh, the opening vid there. Uh uh, before the show, but uh, I think I tested the, all the other stuff, so uh, cross your fingers. Okay. All right. Hopefully it works. Enjoy it, people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little power wolf there for you. Governor Gary Moore is out in the fields and doing a hell of a job of it. That, uh, yeah, they uh, they cover that so well. And, uh, if you if you're not familiar with the Gary Moore free, uh, song out in the fields, look it up, listen to it. It's a great tune, and uh, they they cover uh, do a great job. Power Wolf. Uh, before that, we had the poor with more wine waiter, please. Oi! And we kicked it off with Metallica Sanitarium and almost official music video there. Uh, some good scenes there from uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And good scenes of them in concert. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. Absolutely. Just. Uh... Alrighty then. Yeah, yeah. That that song though. Uh, let me just mention again uh, that Gary Moore song out in the fields. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not familiar with with that, with the lyrics to that, you might want to take a listen to it. It's a good anti-war tune. Um, and uh, it, it, it's got a lot to say. Uh, de death is only a heartbeat away. Thousands more will die each day. No flag has ever stopped a bullet from a gun. All, all kinds of different uh, little bits there in that song. So, mm -hmm. um, And Gary Barr, you know, if you like the blues. And, and yeah. Yep. <laughs> I do. Yeah, so. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. What else is up? Um, I don't know what else is up. I have I have uh, some news stories I saved in my list that I can share. Oh no! <laughs> Quiet. There. Um, oh, oh, you know well, what? There's hurricanes headed right for um, Hawaii and Texas right now. Yeah. So they're bumming out. There, it's not. I don't. It doesn't look like it's going to be too good for Hawaii. It's going. Well, right now it's a Category 1. I guess that's better than it could be. Sure, sure. Um, um, now, now, I don't know who would be interested in this. I personally mm -hmm. I personally am not, but some of y'all might be. Today is National Tequila Day. Huh, okay. <laughs> so, All right. So if, you, if you're a fan of the uh, tequila... Uh, this is your day. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not a fan. Well, I used to be a fan until it kicked my ass, and then I had to stop using it. <laughs> had to stop visiting that spirit. That uh, one didn't work out good. No. All right, well, I call it to kill you. That's what I call it. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and put this up on the screen. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, there you go. But apparently... A theory that I've heard is that the reason I feel that way now about tequila is that I was drinking shitty tequila all along and not good tequila. Oh, Apparently okay. good tequila doesn't do that. Well, I I don't believe that, but that's what uh, I've heard. Okay, there's one there's one there for the ladies up on the screen. 
Where? Look at look on on the on the Vaughn live screen there. Oh, the, where is it? I don't know. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Yeah. You know what he's got there on his crotch? Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. a mask. Yeah, he's wearing a face mask there to cover his nuts and his <laughs> dick. <laughs> All right. All right. So there you go, ladies. Um, uh, <laughs> Woohoo! All right. So, oh, right, man. so yeah, cover this story here. That's funny. So it says, new COVID fashion trend? Question mark. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, man wearing a mask and nothing <laughs> else, and nothing else grabs shoppers' attention in London. So, I'm sure it did. Uh, a face mask, a face mask became mandatory in shops and other enclosed spaces in England on Friday. One person took this guidance to a new extreme, choosing to wear <laughs> nothing but a mask to cover That's his funny. modesty. Uh, shoppers in London were less surprised after seeing a man strolling down one of its largest shopping streets wearing no other clothing than a mask. But not on his face, as one might have expected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. So uh, lots of people took photos of him on their phones. Others stared and as he paraded down Oxford Street wearing nothing but the light blue mask to cover his balls and dick. Wonderful. Uh, Reuter, Reuters photographer captured the image. Uh, so uh, I, I, I just thought it was, it was, it was too funny. Um, uh, now, they, of course, they have to mention there in the article. Well, if if they want to do something, he'll have to pay a hundred pound fine, you know, because he's not wearing it properly. Well, who says he's not wearing it properly? I think he uh, is. Yeah, I, I, to I me, have no problem with it. <laughs> to, to, to me, that's. I have no problem with that. <laughs> that's more. And poor. why? Why? Here we go again. This is in response to being told what to do all the time. Yeah. People are say, starting to say, fuck you. Stop <laughs> telling me what the fuck to do. Exactly. And it's it's and this is the response that we get. You know, you're, people you're, are poking fun at it. and do, You know what I mean? Right. So you want me to wear a mask? Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, cunts. Here's my fucking mask. Oh, now, God. how you like me now? Right. <laughs> That's right. That's I right. mean, it, they told him to wear a mask. That's what he's doing, right? Yeah. And so they, how uh, can they did, they, did they say it has to be on your face? Oh, now, oh, yeah, yeah now they call them face coverings. Face, face coverings. coverings, that's right. It's not a mask anymore. Okay, so you. All of a sudden, it's called a face covering now, Graham. Yeah, if you walk it's, out. If like you a difference, but. So if you walk ahead. out, if you walk outside or try to go into a store or someplace, you mm -hmm. have to have a mask on. But you get guess what? They just passed a thing in D.C. the the mandatory face uh -huh. coverings. And here's here's the deal: D.C. mask mandate exempts lawmakers and government employees. What? Government, okay. Lawmakers right. and government <laughs> employees are not. They do not. Are so you D kidding me? D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser must be a real Bowser. Must be a, must be a real okay. must be a real dog. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, most recent mask mandate, which orders three-year-olds to cover their faces, three-year-olds and up. Uh, See here, it, it, isn't that olds. weird? How in some states it's five or two. Two, right? You yeah. know, it, it it varies. It's like, they don't know what the fuck. So it and says, go on. It, it exempts lawmakers and government employees while they are <laughs> on that. on duty. Whatever that means. I, oh, my gosh. So Bowser issued the Wednesday, man, the, the order Wednesday, mandating everyone over the age of two, which means starting at three, uh, wear a mask. Or maybe it does start at two. I don't know. They, they said three up there, but it says over the age of two. So if you're two years old in one day, you're over two, right? Um, anyway, yeah. The, to to wear a mask in both indoor and out. And good luck getting a two year old to wear a freaking mask. Anyway, right. Uh, it's dumb. I would not let. No. It no, says in no. both indoor and outdoor settings. Uh, under under the mayor's. What? Uh, that's what it says. <sighs> Outdoors, under, you don't need to wear them outside. Under for the sure. under you the don't need to wear them at all, <laughs> but you really don't need to wear it outside. Okay. Absolutely. 
Don't well, be a dumbass. Under the new mayor's order on masks, people must wear a mask when they leave their homes if they are likely to come in contact with another person for more than a fleeting moment. Now, I'm not sure how long a fleeting moment is, but uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, while while masking mandates across the nation and in D.C. typically contain several exceptions, exempting the disabled, those who are actively eating, drinking, and people who are <laughs> vigorously exercising, a closer look at Bowser's executive action shows that the order does not apply to lawmakers, judges, or government employees while they are on duty. They keep using that cert, that term, and I, I don't know what that means. Uh, as far as uh, uh, what what is it? What is it? What is that? I, I don't know. Anyway, the enforcement provisions of this order shall not be applied to persons in the judicial or legislative branches of the district government while those persons are on duty, and shall not apply to any employee of the federal government while they are on duty. The order states. The Metropolitan Police Department is authorized to enforce the order on all of those ages 18 and old, older. Uh, violators can be fined up to $1,000 and or jailed, I'm sure. doesn't mention that here, but uh, yeah, they'll throw you in jail for not wearing one of their stupid-ass masks. In jails where the virus is supposedly spreading at a breakneck pace. Um Anyway, there's, there's that. I, I got nothing more to say about that. It, it's stupid. Uh, but yeah, you pass the laws and you exempt yourself. What does that sound like? Uh, uh, fascism. There you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> do what I say, not what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw that, buddy. And in the state of Indiana, which has always been a semi-fascist state, they yeah. have made it a class B misdemeanor to not wow. wear, to not wear a mask, punishable by six months in jail. Wow, that's so, bullcrap! That oh is bullcrap. Yep. So the governor of Indiana has announced all residents and visitors in the state will be required wow. to wear face coverings, oh. such, such as masks, in public or risk facing a criminal charge. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Governor Eric Holcomb is due to sign an executive order, uh, which will mean a statewide mask requirement will take effect in Indiana on July 27th, which is Monday, this coming Monday. Those who don't <laughs> follow the new order could be charged with a Class B misdemeanor, which is punishable by a fine and up to six months in jail. Wow. Oh. Holcomb said that masking up, we can save lives. He has no proof of that. Uh -huh. there, there's no evidence of that, but he says it, so therefore it's true. Um, okay. Uh, and slow the spread of the COVID. Now, yeah, right. I, I don't know. So why don't they do this from the get go then? Well, I don't know if you recall. All these mask mandates and crap. Now I, I, they're doing it. It's a, it's, it, oh, because the numbers are rising. Oh, there's a second wave. Oh, it, it's just, come on. I, I don't know if you recall uh, at the beginning, but uh, it was going to be a two-week thing. Everybody stay home for two weeks. Right, 15 days. Yep, and we'll flatten the curve, and then everything yep. will be fine. And that yep, was and that, that went right off the window. And that was when? March, right? Yeah, that was in the beginning. March. In the beginning. Four yeah. months, at least four months ago now. Yes. Uh, so uh, the mandate will require everyone over the age of eight years old to cover their faces at all indoor spaces, public transport. See, it's, so, it's eight in that state. Now in other states, it's three or two. It, it's just well, all ridiculous. These, all, these, all these are ridiculous. Like that, that thing that Kate put in there. If you're standing or walking... Uh, then you have to have a mask. Right. Then you have but, to have it on. But if you're seated at a table, or you don't you have to you take it off. Maybe you can just sit on the floor. It just says that if you're what sitting. What the fuck? It's you know, so it, dumb. <laughs> it's, it's just freaking arbitrary nonsense is what that is. It's, it's crazy shit. And uh, this stuff I is... I saw an old guy, like older than me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably 70. I don't know. Jogging with a mask on. Yeah. With his dog. I'm like, I, I was kind of in a busy mood because I was on my way to the dentist or whatever. He probably didn't hear me, but like, 
Take that mask off, <laughs> dumbass. Now, now Hansel here, Hansel in the chat says he wants to see public flogging for noncompliance. Oh yeah, I, with, uh, he would with, with well, the public mask on. He probably wants to be the he wants to be the flogger. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Hansel, put that flog flog tool away. <laughs> right. Get, 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 go, go home and flog. What do they call that? I don't think call it. Go home and flog your dog. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, mask madness. I think that's. Uh, and they're doing this stuff. Okay, so there's this retreat that I heard about, and it's fine. It's a good thing. It's for women. It's a thing. Anyway, it used to be where you could. They they would provide the food, but now all that stuff you have to provide it yourself, and they give you options if you want to be socially distanced more than the other people, and you you know, and they'll put up boundaries for you, and it's just like oh my god, you people, right? Like all common sense and reason, excuse me, has gone out the fucking window. Okay, absolutely. We have immune systems. Most of us do have healthy ones. Yeah, there we are do. some people out there that do not have healthy immune systems. Right. I get that. Okay, those people for sure should not be wearing masks. Okay, the ones with the compromise because they did say that at first, didn't they, Graham? Yeah, that certain people should wear the masks. Right. Or some or shouldn't? I don't know. It's the information's been so like. It's all over the place. And it changes every fucking day. Right, yeah. And, and it's, it's meant to be that way. It's meant to be that way. Totally. So now is. we got people fighting each other over fucking masks now. Yep. And so. people bitching out Walmart employees over fucking masks. Yep. And calling them a jackass and making themselves a, a, a jackass in the process. You know, that, that guy's a jackass. I'm not saying that Walmart employees are. They're doing their job what they were told to do. Okay. Exactly, but they they can also let it slide too. They don't, Which they, don't... they did with those two guys that just wanted to cash their check. Right. You know what I mean? It's so like you said, it's so arbitrary. Yep. Like if I would were to say, hey, I can't wear one. I have freaking asthma. Yeah. This, it's hot outside. It's gonna be super hot today, like or tomorrow. One of the hottest days of the year. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be like, I can't wear a mask. It's too fucking hot for one so, so all you have to do is when you're walking in that place, just say right. medical medical exemption and just walk past them. Yep, medical exemption and keep walking. And yep. if they want to fucking call the cops or whatever they want to do, I'll deal with that then, I guess. Yeah. But it's bullshit. But they have they have absolutely no right to ask you. Tell me you, I can't go in that no, store. No, no, to, to ask you about what your medical exemption is. Right. Or, or, or or provide any proof yep. for it. There's no, they have no right to do that, and that that is due to the HIPAA laws that are yep. out there. I they, don't, ha I have, I do not have to tell a stranger my to, medical. You don't whatever. have to prove. All I have to say is I have a medical exemption. Yep. I am medically exempt from wearing a fucking yep. mask. That's it. And then you can just walk on through. And uh, if they if they question yep. you, then you could sue them. Yep. <laughs> I'll say you're you're gonna fucking infringe on my rights here. I just told you I'm medically exempt from wearing it. I yep. have a right to still shop. So I know. You know, some people would call me a Karen for being like that, though, right? Why would you? The, well, the opposite they, of Karen. The opposite of a yeah, Karen. No, really. A, kinda. A, <laughs> instead, instead of a. Instead of a I don't get the whole Karen thing for one. I mean, really, I don't. I mean, I get it. I, it's just like. Basically, a Karen is a bitch. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, so, I mean. so instead of instead of uh, doing the reverse cowgirl, you're the reverse Karen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, oh I don't. God. I don't know that. I don't know that that would be pleasant for anybody. But um. no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I know we, we've talked about this before on other things, mm -hmm. but this is a new article came out on the Daily Wire this week here. Okay. Nashville man told by the state he's positive for coronavirus. <laughs> Okay. He he was never tested. So <laughs> a, a Nashville man told his local news station last week that he received at least three calls from the state about parent, apparently testing positive for the corona. The problem? He was never tested. Uh, according to News 4 Investigates, Brooke Ballou, a resident of the Nashville suburb of Mount Juliet, 
uh, said he was anticipating a call from a contact tracer after one of his co-workers tested positive for the corona. However, the, the, the tracer repeatedly told Mr. Ballou that he was positive for the, the virus, despite the fact he was never tested. She specifically... <laughs> She, 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 the the caller. Oh, she, sorry. No, no, no the, 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 the caller, she. Oh, spe- okay. Specifically said, I'm looking at it right here. You tested positive. This is a follow-up <laughs> call to see how your symptoms are. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, asked, asked if he possibly misheard the woman on the phone. Balu said she reiterated his supposedly positive test results multiple times. I'm 100% sure that's what she said. She was looking right at it, he recalled. She told me I'm in the system, looking right at it. You're showing positive. Over the following days, Balu received more calls from the state about his COVID symptoms. <laughs> the contact. Oh my God! Uh, well, how would you feel if you got that call, Grim? I dumb the fuck right off. Yeah, I mean, come <laughs> on. Can you imagine, um, sir? You tested positive for COVID. You'd be like, huh? I didn't have a test for one thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, my God! But I didn't do your test. I'm never gonna do your test. Uh, and and I, I would never have done your test. And anything you have there is full of shit. Um. Now, the only way he was tracked by a contact tracer is because he had the app on his phone and the other guy had the app, or the other person mm-hmm. had the app on their phone. So they knew who he was ahead of time. So, uh, oh, I see. So if you well, have, well, con- oh, okay. if so you have that app on, contact tracing thing? Yeah, yeah, if you have that app on your phone and that app is activated, um, I mean, meaning you haven't shut it off because it starts automatically Great. activated. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to go in there and physically shut it off. See, I am. I don't know. I think I should. I have no idea. Oh I, yeah, it's in I your se- it's in your settings on your phone. I looked for it. I didn't find it. The okay, one time. well, I, I came across it. I'll, I'll whatever. Okay, it, it's in there. You can go in there and look, and it's it's, it's in there. I'll look the, it up. It was a specific thing, it. a specific setting. COVID nineteen tracking. See, I didn't find that in there. Yeah, well, it, it, well, it is. I probably wasn't looking in the right spot or something. I don't know. Yeah, you have to. I mean, there's a ton of settings, and they bury it deep. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. It's pretty buried. Yeah, because they don't want you to shut it off. <laughs> no, they do not. I mean, it's weird because, okay, so at the dentist office, they have they take your temperature. You have to wait in your car. They don't let you wait in the waiting room anymore, which I get that, and I have no problem with that. You know, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. See what Kate But says. then they take your temperature right away with one of those infrared, you know, where they don't even touch your forehead. Right, the infrared, right, yeah. And then... um I see at Sam's Club they're selling those now for forty five. Like they got a shipment of them because it said limited time only. Yeah, they're very accurate. They're very. So accurate. they're selling these now for forty five. But the, you got to. I, I almost bought one, but I'm like, no, I don't really need it. You know. No, you need, don't. They need would it. be kind of cool, but. No, you don't need it. There's no reason for you to have that. Right. But and, you know but, what I mean. But they, but they are cool. It, it is cool. You could use it for a lot of stuff other than checking your own temperature. You could use it for checking right. temperature of water. You know, uh, okay, like, yep. uh, you know, like you need 110 degree water for, for, mm-hmm. for your baking uh, or, or whatever. You can use it for checking, the, you know, all, make sure your oven's accurate or all, all kinds of things. Right. And, and yeah. They're, they're very cool. But um, and they're and they're very accurate. So it's a good thing to have. But, uh, you, you know, as far as for Corona, I no. didn't buy one. Any, I'm like, no, anyway, I look, look, at, look at what look at what Kate's telling you here. Go into settings and you'll see a new Google I saw se- that. okay. New Google settings. It's a top menu item. Once you're into Google settings, so go in there Thanks. and and you can shut that shit right off. And um, you you do that. I'm Google play. settings, all right? Google settings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, you take care of oh, that. Oh, here it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay, okay. okay so go in there and shut that shit <laughs> oh, okay. off. Okay. All right, so I'm going to play another set here. Okay, I'll take care of this. And you do that, and, and we you will. Get... Thank you, Kate. Thank yeah. you, girl. Yeah. Thanks. I, I, I looked the other day. I was looking in the wrong spot or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I guess I couldn't they, find they, it. But... They don't want to make it easy for you. So. No, they don't. They don't want to make it easy. <laughs> so you guys enjoy the set, and we'll be back. Yeah, that's good stuff here. All righty, then. Hey, Joe. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay, dude. 
right. You see, he's covering his bases there. Make sure that. <laughs> anyway, that was uh, the Sam, the Sham, and the Pharaohs doing Wooly Bully uh, for educational purposes only. Uh, and before that, Joe Bonamassa doing the Midnight Blues, Tour de Force, Royal Albert Hall. And we kicked it off there with Steve I, Steve Morse, Uli John Roth, and Eric Sardinas covering uh, Hey Joe and doing it awesome. Oh, those, I mean, that's four great guitars. You can't really go wrong oh, yeah. with, with those guys. And, and you probably know Steve I from being Steve I. Uh, oh, you, yeah. You probably know Steve Morse. He played with all kinds of people. Uh, Uli John Roth from the Scorpions and Eric Sardinas for just being awesome. So, yeah. He's just <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. He kind of hangs in the background. I don't know if you notice. Uh, yeah. The, the, but he hangs out back there. He's, he's more of a slide guy than a, uh, than a, mm-hmm. than a super lead like the rest of those dudes. Um, but, uh, boy, he can play the hell out of that slide, man. Let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to Minnesota on Sunday. All right. Why? Uh, niece graduation party. Oh, okay. Well, well, isn't it a little late? Well, everything's fucked up this year, Graham. Okay. Everything's fucked up. Nothing's normal this year. So, no, it's not really actually late because the, they had the lockdown shit going on, you know? Uh-huh. They had to do the graduation virtually, which she didn't even participate in. You know, it was like an optional thing. <clears throat> All right, well, then... Uh... So, you know, it, it's just it's it it it's something to do to help. To just you know what I mean? Yeah, Celebrate yeah. it. You know. Sure, sure. No, it's cool. Anyway, cool. I'm gonna have masks with me. Okay. Just because you know. Hey, you never know. Yeah, you know, if somebody's really butthurt or whatever, then. Y- you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but if you're socially. I hate using these terms. <laughs> <laughs> if you're distanced enough from people, then it shouldn't be a problem. You know, but I hate using these terms. I hate the term the new normal. Oh, absolutely. I keep hearing it on ads, like local companies, like car businesses, you know, as we adjust to the new normal. I will never like, shop with you. Shut the fuck up. I, I will never shop with you if you use that phrase. Oh just, my just god! Let, just let them know. They're all doing it, Graham. A lot of the places are doing it. Every place is doing it. You right. know. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. You can still buy a car in these these trying times. We'll sanitize the car, drop it off at your house for you. You can test drive it. God. That's what they're doing now, Graham. You didn't know that? No, I no. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're doing now, if you want that. Of course, you can go there normally, I think, and look at a car. I don't know if you, you know, what the ran up, what the regulations there, rules are there, but uh, uh, that's what they're doing for some people. Well, if you don't, if you don't aren't comfortable coming to our place, we'll deliver the car to you. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> That's terrific. And I don't know, but I'm getting, I don't think restaurants are going to make it very much if they keep with this shit. Well, the thing, I don't know. They're going to go out of business. They can't afford to be open, stay open. Well, I I don't know. I don't know what they're doing out where you're at, but here in New Mexico, Mm -hmm. first they they opened, they said, all right, uh, these these restaurants, and they they were specific about certain types or whatever, can open up. Can open at twenty five percent of capacity, uh, and then and then a few days later they said, "All right, fifty percent, but half of that's got to be outside." Um, and, yeah, the and, same here. And then, and then they were doing that for a couple of weeks, and they came back yep. and said, "All right, we're rolling everything back to before that, and it's twenty five percent again, and it's all got to be us." And I mean, they're just fucking with companies. With the, they with the, are, and uh, businesses, and there's certain bars here that can't open yet because they're too small. Right, Because right. it wouldn't make sense. They'd only be able to have five people in there, being right. six feet apart, you know, and yeah. even outside, they don't have the space. They don't, you exactly. know what I mean? So exactly. that, that bar is going to go under. I know it is. Sure, yeah. Well, Unless lot. someone helps them out, or, ton, you know. Ton, tons of them are, and, and it's going to be... Yeah, it's gonna be fucked that's up. Just a, yeah. That's a locally owned just well, neighborhood bar that well, this, has this, been there. You know, 
it, it's like that everywhere. It's like that everywhere. It is, and it, and, and then um, and when what's coming economically is going to be. It's going to be bad. I mean, we've been talking about this for as long as we've been doing this show. Yeah, well, and even this, more since, yep. since since this Corona nonsense. Right, way before that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, here's a here's a here's a thing. It's on MarketWatch.com, which is related to uh, the Wall Street Journal. Yeah. Okay, but uh, just just put this into your head. It's an opinion okay. piece. Opinion piece here. Okay. Fed accounts for all with automatic and recurring payments triggered by the economic crisis. So the next coronavirus relief package must mm -hmm. fix must fix the flaws of the first. And here's how the free oh, okay. And here's how the free bank accounts for all Americans at the Federal Reserve fit into that solution. So, okay. So, Wealthy interests have thrived during the pandemic. The CARES Act authorized trillions in spending to support wealthy people and corporations. Most of the money was used to guarantee liquidity for banks and hedge funds, backstop corporate balance sheets, and purchase debt to purchase debt. That's just such a funny phrase. Anyway, yeah, to, to save commercial the commercial loan markets. Overall, 82% of the $170 billion tax provision included in the stimulus stimulus mm -hmm. legislation benefited individuals making over a million dollars a year. The, the resulting, uh, the, resist re, the results this spending are in, uh, the, the Dow uh, uh, and S&P 500 have been on the rise for weeks, and they're still doing that. And the NASDAQ composite is at an all-time high. The, the, the economy's falling apart, and the markets keep on going up, while, while the aggregate net worth of billionaires has increased by 20% in the last five months. Uh, on July 31st, the $600 lifeline and extra federal unemployment benefits expires, and the $1,200 checks authorized by CARES have, are long gone. And despite having received direct aid, most states and cities will still be facing a massive cash crunch, which could lead to, which will lead, not could, there's no could about it, will lead to massive layoffs and cuts in critical social services. If these issues were not enough, the Trumpster is demanding that school districts bring students back without billions in resources needed to do so safely. Yeah, huh? uh, you don't need you don't need anything more than you ever got in the past to do so safely. Bring all the kids back, open them up, let it go. It's got nothing to do with Trump. It's got to do with this phony Corona Bologna. Yes. All right. So you can bring them all back, and there's no problem uh, except for the fear mongering. I'm saying. Yeah. So without dramatic congressional action in the coming days, the American economy is poised to dive or drive off a cliff. And it's going to. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, it says, thankfully, it says here, members of Congress are negotiating another stimulus package. But this next one must fix the flaws of the first. This time, the stimulus package must prioritize recurring aid and structural reforms for working people in local governments. What about all the non-working people, all the folks that, right. can't, that have been dumped and can't find work, or those that are just, you know, uh, unable to work for whatever other reason? Right. It doesn't mention that. Yep. The next stimulus package must extend the unemployment benefit and provide a recurring guarantee income of... $2,000 a month. Wow. Recurring guaranteed income of $2,000 oh a God, month. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Create free bank accounts at the Federal Reserve. Oh. Do what now? That's, that's the line that got me. Create free bank accounts at the oh. Federal Reserve. Or, Holy fuck. Or Fed accounts for every American and supply state and local governments with ongoing cash payments. But this is an opinion, right? This is this, 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 is, a, this is an opinion piece by this woman. Uh, oh, woman. Okay. 
I guess it's a woman. It's A A M E Y A. Amaya Pawar. Amaya mm. Pawar. I, I I I assume it's a woman. I well, that, maybe that's sexist. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. It sounds like they're like Indian or something. Yeah. Native American, uh, not Native no, American, no, no, like uh, India from India. India, Indian, yeah. yeah. So, so um, fan accounts for every American. You want a fan account? And, no fucking and, and, way. <laughs> so, uh, but, all, you know, I don't have a choice. You know why? No. I have a number. Oh. Then you do it too. Okay. All right. So they're so, going to create, if that's what they do, they're going to use our straw man to create these accounts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they will be fraudulent accounts because right. it's all fraudulent. All of it. When it comes right down to this, it, all of this shit is fraudulent. Now, okay? now, now here's this, this next uh, sentence by this person, this writer. All right. Um, really goes off the rails because she's okay. o- she's obviously Keynesian in her in her economic Keynesian or whatever you Keynesian, say, Keynesian. You say it. in her economic beliefs. Yeah. yeah, she says the federal government's job is to spend to stimulate the economy during a crisis, and we know this strategy works. No, we don't know it works. We, we know, do not know we, that. No. We, we, we know this the... This lady's obviously pro-Fed. Uh, we, we know the... Well, she's Keynesian, so I mean... I, I, right. She, right. Don't have, she, don't, she don't have to say it. That one sentence right there says right. it. She, yeah. <laughs> because it's insanity to, to yeah. think that every adult American, I guess, should get $2,000 a month would cost trillions every month. Yeah. Every month, trillions. And that doesn't exist. That right? Well, it didn't. Ex- yeah, that, it's that. all on. Yeah. Okay. And it's backed by air. Okay. Listen to this. By providing to every American two thousand dollars monthly guaranteed income, America will be a more resilient nation. No, it'll be a broker nation. Uh, yeah. M- month- more. In- oh my god! And the prices of everything. We'll what do you the, think's gonna happen to that? Through the roof, through the roof, through the fucking roof. But Eight dollars, ten dollars for a loaf of fucking bread, people. Okay, uh, well, that that's at the that's at a minimum. Uh, what do you uh, think? Thirty? Hundred? Forty bucks for a loaf well, of bread? Hey, no, no, no. We're definitely like I said, the Weimarization of America. Um, right, you talked about that. Yeah, fucking on, right. on, uh, You talked about that often on this show. <laughs> yeah. You talked about it on other shows of yours many and, and, times. I've heard you discuss this subject but, many, but, many times. But, but, can you see the people right now partying in the freaking... Oh, God, yes. ...in the streets when they hear... They would think King Midas came to town. Ooh, I'm getting $2,000 a month. They'd be like, I'm buying this shit. I'm going on vacation. Yeah, $2,000 a month. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Um, oh, yeah, baby. Hey, hey, hey. I could then never... a month later, they'll be like, oh, it's $100 for a loaf of bread. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. So, so. Oh, uh, no. And it's $500 for a pack of toilet paper. But look, here's the thing. She's working for Market Watch, which is part of Wall Street Journal, which is the biggest influencer right. on Wall Street. Yes, big time. And she's writing for them. Writing this stuff, and it's going out there to millions of people to read. So whether we think she's a fruit basket nutball or whatever, right. uh, or not, all all the people out there that think that the Fed should just print, 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 print until whatever, until the, the presses burn up. Of course, we know. Right. We, we, we know there's really no presses. It's yeah, we know what will happen. But, yeah, there really uh, isn't. Yeah, it's exactly. Uh, it's it's totally insane to think that this could actually happen. Um, but uh, yeah, I the, mean, it, but it could. I mean, I can see them doing this, dude. And all you people out there that are saying, yeah, yeah, the two thousand dollars a month. You're not going to want to be saying that when bread's $100 a loaf. Yeah. Do, do, do You're not going to little... be happy about it. Yes. You're going to be fiction about it. Okay? Let, let's, let's say there's 100 all, you're, What you're going to do is you're going to go hog wild with this money. And then a month later, when your money's spent, well, maybe three months. Yeah, I don't know. $2,000 a month, is that right, Grim? Yeah. Let, let's let... say three months later, 
when all you did was spend it on frivolous shit, now bread's $100 a month, or I mean $100 a loaf, TP's $500 a pack, then you're really going to be bitching, right? Right. And being like, how do we let this happen? Well, we're telling you right now, if they do that, that's what would happen. And we're not experts by any stretch, but it, it's not rocket science. Okay. Let, let, um, let's 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 just say that there's 150 million adult Americans, and I know the number's higher than that, but we'll right. just, we'll use that number. How do, how okay, do, how do, using that number, yep, just 100, as an example. 100, 150 million times 2,000 is wow. What's that? Three trillion dollars a month? Wow, <laughs> three a month? A month? If it's two, <laughs> if, if it's two, if it's two thousand dollars a month. I'm sorry, I, I, that's funny to me. That makes me laugh. That's uh, I, mean, I, I don't know. You'd that's absolute to, insanity. Ca- count those zeros. It, well, it's ten to the eleventh, which would be three. Yeah, three trillion dollars a month. So. Oh uh, my God. <laughs> and that's 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 an estimated number. The one tip. Oh, that's million. a low. That's a low. It's a very conservative. Yeah. Very conservative estimate on on the Holy the, the man. number the number of Americans. Uh, that that Holy that, man. that that are adult Americans out there, so it's um... <laughs> wow. So it would be more than that a month, actually. Five, five. Let's make it five billion, five trillion a month. Oh, no, we'll just say three. I just just say three. I, 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 three, three, three terms just, in those terms of money, though. Just, just say three trillion times twelve months. <laughs> Times twelve months, that's thirty six trillion dollars a year. Holy shit! Which, uh, which is more than the entire debt at this point in time. So they want us all to be billionaires or millionaires, so we don't bitch about. No, 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 no! Rent. You're not, you're not going to be a billionaire. You're going to get two. No. You'll get two thousand dollars. You're, you're not going to be a billionaire or a millionaire. Right, right. So I better make sure I don't just waste that money on frivolous shit. Yeah, because you're going to need right? that to buy bread. I better buy, if, if they're going to give me it, the fake money, I better buy something that has real value, right? Yeah. Like gold or silver or platinum or something bullets that, or something that people liquor or alcohol. I don't know. Liquor or TP. I don't know. What? Yeah, something that people will want. Right. So if they give us this shit, that you can use don't be trade. going out and spending it willy-nilly acting like King Midas came to town. Okay. You know, exactly. all of a sudden you're fucking, ooh, $2,000 a month. Oh my God. This is awesome. Let's party. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, because this, I don't know, what is your, what do you think is going to happen? Well, the, the dollar is already declining in value versus other currencies mm-hmm. uh, out there. Uh, due, yep. to, uh, due in large part to all this crazy spending. Well, yeah. So uh, th- right now, and for many years now, the dollar has been the world's reserve currency. Uh, that does not seem like that's it, true. It, it doesn't. It seems it, like that's not the case now, right? Well, it seems like it won't last much longer. No. Um, I, I, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it seems like that. I mean, just look at the price of gold and silver. Just what happened right. this week. Uh, they, this week, right? Yeah, they they both shot up, uh, uh, you know, dramatically. Well, I think that's because some people are getting smart and buying it now. Well, because they're watching what's happening with the dollar, right? As the and, dollar declines, uh, like me, I bought metals this week or a week ago, or whatever it was. And I'm sorry if I affected the market, but uh, I need something of value that's not paper. I, I don't not dirty I don't, paper and I, fake pa- and fake money. I mean, I, I don't. I don't think your few hundred dollars affected the market. Okay, no, probably <laughs> not. Right? I mean, I'm I'm a piddly little small buyer. Like, ooh, people are out there buying huge contracts. You know. Yeah. Huge, see, this was under you know a yeah, certain amount. It yeah. wasn't even a large amount. Yeah, you're 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 not affected. I didn't go hog wild. I just wanted a little bit. None of, none of have us have some kind of a cushion, you know what I mean? Yeah, not, 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 nobody here at RLM is affecting the price of silver. Or gold. Right, okay, <laughs> right, because we're not the big players. We, we, get, we just don't have that kind of. No, we do not have that. No, that, that, none that of us here power. do. No. <laughs> All right, anyway, on the other end, mm-hmm. on the side, I, I don't know how you want to think about it. 
No, but whatever. do you think it's going to – okay, I got another question. Do you think it's going to go digital? Do you think oh, they yeah, want it, abso- like, absolutely. Uh, and that's why there's a, this coin sorted shit. Well, that's, that's, part that, of it, that, right? that's, that's a different thing. Okay, um, okay. I, I, that, that, that is the treasury or the uh, right. take, keep okay. taking time off and not producing new coins and getting new coins mm-hmm. into circulation, which I, I, I kind of understand that a little bit uh, mm-hmm. because I don't spend coins. I put them all. I, I, I really don't either. I, I've unless got, I I've, want to. You know, I've, got, I've, got, yeah. I've got many containers filled with coins. Me too. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, I, I mean, unless it, it's like if, if it's convenient to me to reach and get a penny or a nickel or a dime or whatever. Then um, I'll do that. Yeah. Sure, but I, yeah but consistently, no. De- I generally that, yeah. speaking, yeah, I, I, I just take whatever change they give me, throw it in my pocket, right. and then throw it in the jar when I get home. Yeah. So. Uh, and and so I've got jars all over the place full of coins. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> hey JJ, I don't know. Hey he's JJ, not, he's not good tuned. to see you again, buddy. He's he's not tuned in, so that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. He'll listen to the podcast or whatever. All right, just say hi for us there. Um, hi JJ. In, in the chat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I did kind of comment. So yeah, no, I, they definitely want to go digital because they can track everybody so much better that way. Um, yeah. Um, so you think they're going to go digital? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I think they, I think they're going to have to. And and whether or not they blame it on the Corona nonsense is hard to say, but I think well, uh, they're going to they can use whatever excuse. Yeah, they, they, can. they can dovetail that excuse in. Money's dirty. And, yep. And 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 so it is though, but well, yeah, it is. It's filthy. We it's, we yeah. we know that. <laughs> right. Anyway, on the other side of the spectrum, mm-hmm. kind of, sort of, a little <laughs> bit. Um, this article came on the New York Post dot com. Uh, okay. Trump's Federal Reserve nominee closer to approval after key Senate vote. And well, I thought, mm-hmm. who cares? But. Here's the deal. Uh, a, a, a Senate committee on a 13 to 12 party line vote has approved President Trump nominee to the Federal Reserve, not as the chair, but as a, as a board member. Um, so a longtime Fed critic who favors a return to the gold standard, which I found that, that would be good. I found right? that, I found that very interesting. That that right. this person, they're gonna maybe put her on the Fed board, and she wants a return to the gold standard. Of course, she's one of I don't know. How many. Yeah, you know they, they don't want that, though, Graham. No, no, but they it, got it made right now. But it, you know but they want to go all digital and bring in their whole new world currency or whatever the fuck they were to call it. You know, right. but but at least it's a move in the right direction. And even we've if, been saying that for years. E- so even, everybody, even, it's one person. They're gonna get shot down. We've been doing this same <laughs> dance for years. It's not gonna. You know, but, but, they but won't it, let it happen. That you know that. Right, but but even if they if they went to a digital, if that digital cash or whatever yeah. you want to call it was backed by gold or silver or something, it would be better. I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, as long as you can't just print willy nilly like they're doing right. now um, and they, create all this debt and this. Yeah, it, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what to but, think but of that. But as this goes, it's from that that previous opinion piece where mm-hmm. where they want to give everybody two thousand dollars a month. Yeah, fuck which, that. That's not a good idea. Which, which would drive the the well, at least the U.S. economy um, yes. off of that cliff that was mentioned. Oh man, uh, it would be bad. Uh, in some other previous article that I shared. Right. Um, <laughs> and you know, it just cracks me up because. I can tell people follow the mainstream media and follow the rhetoric. If, if, if they're saying they're a Democrat, then they follow the rhetoric, rhetoric of the Democrats and the mainstream media slant, whatever, which one they watch. I don't know. Right. Republicans do the, the same, too. They do yeah. that, too. But so what I'm saying is all these people out there are letting these people make decisions for you. Right. So let's say the Democrats are for something. The Republicans will be against it just because it's us versus them mentality there yes. in D.C. And nothing really. Well, that, that's that's the show. That's 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 right. The, 
that, that's the show, and people buy it. Right. They eat it up like it's truth and it's real, and it they don't see it. They they get their information from the media and from their side. Yeah. So they're not seeing the big picture, and it it, it makes they them don't want to see blind. the big picture. It makes them blind to all you know. And so like, let's say that the Republicans. Okay, so this week it was the payroll tax cut, right? Yeah. And Trump was for that. Right. But I saw people in the chat room criticizing him. Well, of course, because because it's him. Or, it, it matters. It, it, Nothing matters. It's just like, if he, you don't even know what you're talking about, but yet you're gonna. Then, then they had to be. Oh well, because I, I I made a comment. You mean the Democrats were for that? Because they because Trump was. So that means the Democrats well, were not for that. T- typically, typically, Democrats are never for tax cuts. They're always exactly. For, they're always for raising taxes. But um, yet Trump gets criticized for for not passing that. Right. Because it was Trump. Right. It's like, do you there's, there's, realize how asinine that is? Well, it's like I like I said at the top of the show uh, <laughs> that that now that Trump is for masks, if you're wearing a mask, you're a Trump supporter. Right. So he all you be. all you all you mask wearers out there that hate Trump, he uh, just flipped the lid on you. Gino. Yeah. Now you're now you're wearing MAGA hats on your face. So, you better rip them masks right out of your fucking face right now. Because <laughs> anyway. Trump's wearing one now. Sorry to say. Yep, and he's, and he's not just wearing one, but he's telling people to wear them. So if you're right. wearing... And then t- today, we it was funny. I was with my son, Zach, because we had to get the edge windshield replaced, and we went to a mom and pop place. Right. And we're pulling in. I'm like, do you have to wear a mask in there? He's like, no, they don't care. He's like, most auto body places and places like this, most of them are Republicans. <laughs> I just started laughing. I go, yeah, well, I'm not a Republican, and I think the mask thing's stupid, you know. It's like, and I'm not a Democrat either. So, yeah. you know, but it, 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 and then the guy in there, he was fine. He, they had to put glass up because you know that's what the county said to do. You yeah, know. Yeah. And so you got to put plexiglass up now at your front desk, you know. Right, 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 right. And it's three, and but you can you can slide your your debit card that you didn't disinfect. You slide that across the counter under the glass. Yeah. You know, it, that guy better hope that he doesn't touch his face after he touches your debit card. Oh my god. Exactly. It's like, come on. It, you guys see how ridiculous this is? It's crazy. It's crazy. It is. And, Any, and anyway, he, just to close out this little yeah. bit here, uh, okay. the, the, the woman's name that they're considering putting on the yeah. Fed board, okay. her name is Judy <laughs> Shelton. Uh, this was just a committee that she passed. Still has to go through the Senate. Uh, uh, she has. Uh, she's a conservative economist, which doesn't really fit with the Fed. Uh, but but uh, she's been criticized by both sides of the fictitious aisle. Uh, so that that's that on that. <laughs> I, I just brought this up. Sorry, uh, girl. I, I, I was laughing in the chat. About all right. The chat. I, I just I, brought I, I this up for the fact that uh, she favors the return to the gold standard. Um, so, yeah. Well, didn't Ron Paul say that, too? Well, yeah, but he never got nothing passed, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, that's what I'm saying. They're one person. They don't let you succeed. Unless you're going along with their agenda, they're going to shoot you fucking down. You can talk about it till you're blue in the face, but they're still going to shoot you down. Absolutely. So these people that I want to do the right thing, they don't win. They never do. No, no, of course. She, right. she, she may get on the board, but her voice, her vote will be meaningless. Right, right. And, okay, so I, I had to. La- I was laughing because of the chat because Rome said, "Bernie man, folks are at the Portland protest, providing supplies, food, medical care, drumming thousands and thousands of people tonight." So yeah, there is some shit going well, on well, look, in Portland the, uh, here. I'll tell you, those Burning Man people—they know how to do it. They do it right. They do. They, they're they, hippies, and they're, they 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 don't they, fuck around, dude. They, they put up a whole city within a few days. They do, and, and, and they take I, it, and they take I'm it back down. I'm not cutting them down by saying, "Oh, great, they're there." Yeah, I mean that's a good thing. They're bringing supplies and food and medical care because I saw some pictures on Twitter this week of people that have gotten shot in the back. Okay, how lame do you have to be to shoot a motherfucker that's running away from you 
in the back with a goddamn bullet that's coated in rubber. It's like getting shot with a tiny little tiny hockey pucks. And oh, they and leave they're... marks. And they really? penetrate the skin. They go into your body. Uh, and they have killed people with those. Yes. They have killed people with by shooting them right in direct headshot. Okay? Or wherever. I don't give a fuck if you're against the protest or not. But excuse me, that's fucking wrong. Yes, okay? And is. cops have been getting away with shooting people in the back for way too fucking long. And they call these weapons non-lethal. Bullshit. Yeah. They're not non-lethal. Well, They're think, very I, lethal. I, I think they've changed that to less than lethal. Right. They Which, they see how they change. They they mind fuck you. Yeah. Think, it's, well, it's, you know, okay. We, weasel, weasel wording. Yeah. You know yeah. they mind fuck you. Yeah. You know. All right, we're gonna play more music here. Okay. Don't let them mind fuck you anymore. Don't. Seriously. Why? I, I don't know how else to word it other than that. That's I a good. We'll be that, back to the break. Yeah. Here we go. John Prime. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> John Fogarty and family. Fogarty's factory there. Uh, doing a fortunate son. Uh, yeah, a little uh, lockdown music for you. Before that, Leo Maraccioli uh, covering John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads and covering it in style. Kicked it off there with John Prine, Lonesome Friends of Science. And Good always, one. Always remember, Pluto is a planet. Yes, it yes. is. <laughs> always remember that. Yeah. Speaking of that, I saw Venus last night. Did you? Or Mars. I get them mixed up. I It was orange. I don't know. You all have a good time out there at home and things like that. What was that? Is. Uh, this video just started on me, so whatever. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, did you, anyway. Did, did, oh, go did, ahead. did you see Uranus? No. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, but I have not seen the comet. I have not tried to look for the comet. I I can't see it from my house because I live in a city with lights, street lights, and you know you gotta be out in the sticks to see the fucking thing. Well, even out here, there's a lot of light pollution. Yeah. Thing. My cousin, my mom, she's actually, well, she's my cousin, but she's my mom's first cousin. She's my second cousin, but we're the same age. Anyway, she lives up in northern Minnesota, and she posted a really awesome picture of it. They saw it. I mean, it's, like, sweet, you know, because she lives up in the sticks. Yeah. And I, I, I was going to ask her if I could go up there and go fishing with them sometime, but, I mean, it's like a five-hour drive. Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, uh, one way. I'm like, I don't know. I don't feel like it, you know, driving way up there, you know. <laughs> right. So, no offense to her or anything. I mean, I'm kind of jealous in a way of where they live because it's really fucking awesome, you know. Sure. But the winter can be really harsh up there, you know. Yeah, but she's exactly. done a really good job with the DNR. So, like, she went to school to be worked for the DNR. She's like a, a forest ranger or whatever. She started out being that. Mm -hmm. And then she just worked her way up. But it's kind of cool for her because she's like one of the first women to like get to her position right now. Right. Which is good. You know what I mean? The DNR, yeah, it's a government, government agency, but, you know, they have a lot of power. True. Sure. But um, I'm happy for her, you know. Right. To live up there and have a good job, you know, that's the main thing. Especially when you live up in the sticks and in rural areas, it can be really hard yeah. to make a living. And I used to, I lived up in northern Wisconsin for over 10 years, and it can be hard up there. People think it's paradise living up in resort areas and stuff, but for the people that live there year-round, yeah. we're not tourists. We're, we live here. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, a lot of the rich people that would go up to Hayward area, they're rich people from Chicago or Minneapolis that are fucking millionaires that have 
they call them cabins, but they're really like million dollar homes up here on the lakes and shit, you know, up there. Yeah, the yeah, lakes, yeah. Stuff, yeah. You know, right. It's like, it, it's just such a just, just, how do you say that word? Juxtaposition? That's it. Juxtaposition. And because you go like from one extreme to the other. You know, and I was driving, even in, in Eau Claire, you can see that. Yeah. You go from the man, the rich area where all the mansions and the big homes are, and then like two blocks away, there's like the trailer park. Yeah. It's like that's one extreme to another right there. You know what sure, I mean? Sure, sure. And that's what's going on in this country. That's just what, what's been going on in this country for a long time. Yeah. Is the rich people, so called rich people, bought into the system. Either they were born in the system or they bought into the system by going to the four year, the four year fucking university and getting the, the corporate job, right? Sure. And making the big bucks so you can have your mansion and your cabin and your boat and your this and your that and your vacations, right? Well, right. the norm, most of the people in this country, don't have that, okay? Exactly. We don't have the option to go on vacation or buy a second a, a vacation home somewhere. A vacation or, home that's worth four times the price of your regular home. Or even a vacation <laughs> for a week. Like most people I know, when I worked when I worked at the job where I have vacation time and everything built up, yeah, it would be like a week every year, once a year for like five years. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. And most people, some people would go like on a vacation somewhere like Disney World or something. But most people didn't. They'd be like, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to go up to a, and camp. We rented a cabin, you know. Right. And these are little sick cabins that are not, they're not, they're actually a cabin. Yeah, you know like I mean? a They're not like a mansion, or... like a house, you know. Right. And most people, that's how it is. Yeah. Because you're not a rich fuck. You exactly. don't have that kind of luxury or that kind of money, right? You know? Right. And it, it and it does weigh on you sure. mentally. It can. When I was, I remember I was raising kids as a single mom. I wanted to take my kids somewhere on vacation. Mm-hmm. I could never do it. I could never save enough money, or you know what I mean, because it was this bill or that bill, or he didn't pay child support, or you know, which I'm not trying to bitch about it because it's in the past now. Right, but I'm saying from even even people that aren't single parents, even with a, a two parents working, yeah, if you've got more than two kids, or even if you have one kid, it's expensive. You, sure. you know what I mean? Sure. And you can't you in, unless you're mega rich, you don't go on vacations and shit like that. I don't know. Your kid, so. your kids have to get student loans because you can't pay for their college if they that's what they want to do. Right, you well, know, you, it's when, a scam. When, it, when, it, when you're struggling to live day to day, you don't. <laughs> right, it's a yeah. vicious circle, you know that you and, and, and the only option for poor people to go to college right now is either get a scholarship somehow, or take out a student loan. Right. That when you graduate from these schools, you're going to be so far in debt up to your fucking ass, and you, you're not going to get that kind of a high paying job right away. You know, they're gonna you're gonna start paying that back right away once you graduate. Right. Yes. You there? Sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. I had to mute for a second. But it, it's a scam. I mean, and I see my son is in this position, and I get why he wants that piece of paper because right now that's how the system is set up. Right. Is you got to, in order to get a, real, a higher paying job, you have to have that some kind of paper. It doesn't have to be a four-year degree from a university. It could be from a tech school. I'm all for tech schools. Mm-hmm. Tech school is is the way to go. It's cheaper. You go right into your field. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And I've tried to tell my son that. Dude, you have to, if you don't want to do all the classes, the frivolous classes that don't apply to your major, don't go to a four-year university. Right. Go to a tech school. Yeah. And focus on one skill that you get right into, and it's it, it's a shorter amount of time too. It's like two years most of those. Sure. Yeah. You know. You know. Uh, HVAC, right. elect, electrician, uh, 
there's there's a ton of different trades out there that need right. that need people. And people don't realize how much money those professions those people make good money. Okay? I, mean, I mean, you could do it as a plumber, but that's disgusting. Right. So. Well, they right. <laughs> they make good money though. The point yeah, is, is, and then my, and we've been pointing this out. My dad even has been talking about this for 20 years. Right. You go into a trade because all the guys that are good in the trade right now are all retiring. So they're crying for people. My dad told me this 20 years ago. Yep. The skilled uh, labor is where it's at right now because sure. like i told my son that i'm like there's always going to be need, be a need for a plumber there's always going to be a need for a mechanic right there's always going to be a need for that as long as there's people that don't know how to do that fucking shit like to Matt, i said to you that comes easy electrical comes easy to you but guess what most people doesn't exactly and they if if, if their heat like let's say you're hvac right mm -hmm. your heat goes out when it's 40 below that's an emergency in Wisconsin. Right. That is a fucking emergency. Yeah, that's too. You're gonna call that fucking motherfucker to come out right away and fix your shit. Yeah, two hundred bucks an hour. You don't want your best first, and you don't want a mess. You know. Yeah, that's why they're gonna charge you two hundred bucks an hour for that. Right, but if it's forty below, you don't have no choice, dude. Yeah, right. You really don't, because you you get your pipes could freeze, and then you really got a fucking mess. Yeah. So these skills are important. Electrical, plumbing, small engine repair, um, yeah, just anything mechanical. Yeah, small, really. small engine repair is more, ch that's not as, as lucrative. Right, no, but still, do you, I don't know how to clean a carburetor on my own. Like, I could try to do it, but I'd fuck it up. I wouldn't, you know what I mean? I'd uh, have to watch YouTube videos for five, for uh, oh, two weeks to learn uh, how to clean uh, a carburetor, uh, you know? Here's, here's the thing. On, yep. on most of those small engines... You can get a carburetor for 20, 50, 20 to fifty bucks. Right, and just put a new one in. You mean? Yeah, it's like you know, two bolts. Right. You know, it's it's really. So most people don't know that, Grim. Like to you, that's common sense. But to most people, they wouldn't even think about that. They'd be like, "Oh, this thing's broken. I'll go buy another one." Right. Well, you know I mean, they wouldn't even say, "Oh, I can do this easy. I'll just get a different carburetor." You know, but you have that kind of brain that thinks like that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Most yeah. people do not. <laughs> They're not as smart as you. Don, Donna, Donna, <laughs> even knows. Donna. Yeah, Donna's a badass. I mean, she I gotta badass. give props, to Donna. You know, she's she's she, she's a she's a badass with a good ass. She is. She's, you know, she's a damn good ass. Yeah. You know, I don't. I've never seen her ass in person, but I know she's a badass. I can say that much for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's great, Donna. See, and you, ha I could tell you're the kind of person that has the same kind of brain that works like Grittner. You know what I mean? Sure. But you also are artistic. So, right. you yeah. know, you have one of them double things going on there where, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or something, whatever they call it. I don't know. I don't but, know no, you're not. Oh, yeah. A jackass. We all, well, yeah, yeah, no, I would disagree <laughs> with that, Donna. I would disagree with that. Um,. A statement. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in, girl. Yeah. Oh God. Okay, let's get oh, to this it's all here. Good. Let's get to this here. This will piss you right off. Okay, let's do. Okay, well, okay, piss great. You right I off. Piss me off. Wonderful. All right, Wonderful. This is posted on the Sun dot com, which is from UK. Okay, I thought so. I just yeah. want to make sure. Doesn't matter. No, all right. Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pause pause for right. pause for jeers okay exactly uh, uh, bill bill gates warns multiple corona vaccine doses are likely to be needed and schools should stay closed for another year okay well i i personally right okay, on, on this <laughs> i say schools should stay closed permanently I do too. Uh, don't I don't, don't agree those, with that. those yeah. public schools. Don't are, open them goddamn indoctrination centers up ever again. Pub, public schools are really bad news. Yeah, they are bad. They're bad news, dude. But I know I raised boy. Uh, we'll talk about that after you're done. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so multiple Corona vaccine doses likely to be needed. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Bill Gates. Saying yeah, of course he wants that. Oh, multiple doses. Yeah. Oh yeah. And more money for me. And, and, well, wait till we get to his. Uh, 
His, oh great! His, okay. His, 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 uh, so I better mute. His denial. Oh, I'm gonna mute. I have okay. to mute. We'll, we'll, we'll get to his denials. All right. Uh, Bill Gates has warned that multiple doses of any corona vaccine could be necessary as he slammed the Trumpster handling of the pandemic. Uh, Microsoft billionaire Gates said serious mistakes have been made by the White House as he predicted schools could be closed until fall of 20. 21. Uh, speaking during an interview with Nora O'Donnell on CBS, uh, uh, Gates said that he had faith, faith in the development of corona vaccine. I don't, I don't think faith is what's required here. Uh, no, no, you need, you need actual people doing actual science, uh, the lonesome friends of science say. Uh, a- anyway, uh, however he warned, it could take an unbelievably big number of doses to beat the virus well then it's not a it's not a vaccine is it or the vac or, or the, the virus is not a virus because one of those two if it was an actual virus and you had an actual vaccine one dose is gonna fix it but that's right not, that's not how this shit works no it is not no. uh, he's, supposedly he's he said None of the vaccines at this point appear likely they'll work with a single dose. Uh, now, I, I talked, I don't know how long ago it was, a couple months ago maybe, uh, about, about how this corona shit works. It doesn't yep. make, the corona doesn't make you sick. The corona goes into you and it finds other problems with you. Right. Other, other underlying conditions, they would call them. That wouldn't surprise me. And it multiplies those. It it it, it energizes. It makes them like more. Yeah, it makes them supercharged. It them or whatever. Yeah. yeah. This this is not a virus. Whatever this Exasper- thing is, exacerbates them. It superpowers them. It it gives them like. It, it's yeah. It so it has to be a bio weapon. It gives them ster- Well, it's a, absolutely a bio weapon, but that's besides yeah. that. That's something that's. I, right, I, I think well determined at this point. Okay, um, but, but I think a lot of people would disagree with you, but 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 the mechanism, the mechanism of how it works, yes. and the reason they can't figure out how to make a, a vaccine to stop mm-hmm. it is because it's you can't. Everyone's different. Yeah, you can't go after this this thing. Yep. Be, because of that's that's not how it's working. It's working exactly. by going into you and says, "Oh, you got uh, a, a little cluster of bad stuff over here." We're gonna yep. give we're gonna give that some some steroids or whatever yep. to to pump it, it like up. It goes in and finds the problem that you have and exacerbates it. Right, and and I I don't know if you've noticed or not, but they they've switched some of the terminology they use and they've done it very slyly. Oh yeah, I've and, noticed they switched a lot of terminology and, 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 this instead whole of thing. instead of saying people died from. They, they say they related to. Related to. Right. Right. And it's like. Or COVID related. Yeah. And so they used it's to. It's like they, that should make you question this. Yeah, but it, but they did it that people don't even notice. They they don't. They just say, oh, it was a COVID death. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I think I've mentioned this guy's show before, if you've ever seen it. Uh, it's called The Carbonero mm-hmm. Effect. You ever seen his show? Uh, I believe maybe once or twice. Okay. He's like, he's like yeah. a magician that does a hidden camera yeah, show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's what he'll do. So occasionally, he does all kinds of different stuff. But sometimes, uh-huh. uh, somebody will come in and they'll walk up to the counter, and, and they'll say, you know, because he always like goes into a store or whatever right. to, do, to yep. do his tricks. And so they'll walk up to the counter and they'll ask about this or that or the other thing, and he'll say, "Oh yeah, hang on a second. And he ducks, you know, ducks behind the counter like he's picking up something from behind the counter, and he comes back up and he's got different clothes on or he's got. Suddenly has a mustache or a beard or, you know, he, he looks different than he did. And the people, they don't even know. They, they can't. This is how dense people are. They're, they're looking there. They were just talking to the guy. And two seconds later, he's got a totally different look. And they just go on like 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 he, he's the same, you know, thing that like nothing is different. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so when they change language like this, when they change a right. word or a mm-hmm. phrase, or they, they, like face mask versus face covering. Yeah, they they they, the, they didn't want to use mask anymore because people were having a problem with that. So, like, okay, we'll call it face covering. Yes, yeah, so, and they slipped this shit in. Yeah, and, it's, and, they mind fuck you with these words. And, and people, people yeah. just 
they're they're just oblivious to the whole situation. Yep. They're, they're yeah. just re- reading it as if it was the same thing going on. They don't on. realize they're being fucking played. Yeah. <laughs> they don't realize it. They're like, oh, I'm just going to believe this because it's against Trump. Or I'm going to believe this because it's, uh, that's what Trump wants. Or I'm going to believe this because that's what Fauci said. That's what CDC said. It's like, oh, my God, before we this COVID thing even happened, we called the, the CDC Centers for Death Control. Right. On this show. So sure. many times. For years now. Yeah. Yeah. We've been calling them that. And you guys, we've been telling you for years, too. Please, please take your blinders off. Goddamn think for yourself. Use your goddamn brain cells. For sure. They're there for a reason. They're not just taking them faith. <laughs> and yeah, it might be all about you and your mind, but it's really not all about you. No, it's not. It's about everybody. And it's about a collective, like, awakening or something. I don't know. What the, I don't want to be all new agey and crap and use all these terms. I hate labels. I just fucking yeah. hate them all. Every label out there. New age. Or okay. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. For, like, for, come for, on. For, further on in this article, and I'm not going to read it out. I'll just got to okay. tell you. That's good. Um, okay. uh, Bill Gates says he's been the target of uh, many conspiracy theories. Oh, people, yeah, right. He's pe- going to say that. Of uh, about people, people saying that there's going to be tracking chips in the vaccines. And he says, That's oh, the oh, they want no, the RFID or whatever. Yeah, there's no such thing. Or the RNA changes. He's, oh, no, 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 that's not going to happen. Right, oh, and then they just try to poo-poo all that. Oh, it, no, no, I uh, trust me. It, I have your best interest at heart. <laughs> they don't. He doesn't. He yeah. cares about money, okay? Right. He cares about money and, and population and, control. Right, population yeah, reduction. He's going to make a shit ton of money, and there's going to be less people. Okay? Exactly. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. And you want to fucking trust this goddamn motherfucker. So, so you might like reading this article on your own, but that, that he comes down to it and he says, no, no, that's all, those are all crazy conspiracy theorists try, trying to blame me for, for, for all these things. I'm right, not, yeah. I'm not doing those things. You can trust me. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why should I trust you, cunt? <laughs> Your circles of people you hang with are assholes and bastards, and they're the oh. part of the problem, reason why this country's so fucked up. So yeah. kiss my motherfucking ass, bitch. There you go. There you go. Fuck you. Okay. Right. Well, I have one you know, here. I have yeah, one you're here. right, Graham. That did piss me off. You're right. I, I knew right. it would. All right. Yeah. Any, any, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, See what you do? See what you do? Well, this one will make you happy. So oh, okay. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll, you'll be fine. And, 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 okay. and it's probably something, I don't know how much of it you use or... How much of it you do or whatever, and uh, if it's a concern of yours. But here it is. And I, I may have shared a similar story before, but this is a new one. Okay. Uh, it's on natural bla- naturalblaze.com. And it says, right. can cinnamon control blood sugar in people with prediabetes? Probably. Yes, it can. <laughs> cinnamon improves blood sugar control in people with prediabetes and could slow the progression to type 2 diabetes, according to a new study published in the Journal of Endocrine Society. Uh, it is estimated that nearly 90 million people in the U.S. have prediabetes, which occurs when blood sugar levels are higher than normal and often leads to type 2 diabetes. Identifying strategies to prevent progression from pre- prediabetes to type 2 is challenging, yet important for a large population. Our 12-week study showed beneficial effects of adding cinnamon to the diet on keeping blood sugar levels stable in participants with prediabetes. Now, it it goes on and talks about a lot of stuff I don't need to get into, uh, but let me ask you, do you take or eat cinnamon on a regular basis? I do not right now, but I love cinnamon. And also, I was at, like I said, I went shopping at Walmart, at fucking whatever the fuck you want to call it. Anyway, I had to, okay? I had to go there. Okay. And I didn't want to deal with problems, so I just fucking wore my little fucking tie-dye mask that I got from a, 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 a vendor that makes really awesome tie-dyes, and I just said, fuck it. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. And I just did it. Uh, I hated it because I got hot a couple times, and then I'm like, this fucking sucks. All right. Well, I used... And my mask is not tight, so it's like really thin, and it falls off my nose, and it's just it, it's ridiculous, okay? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I personally, I use cinnamon on in small mm-hmm. amounts on certain things like i'll put a teaspoon when i make a loaf of bread in, in right there. 
and and you can always taste it just a little bit, but it's just a yep. tiny, it's just tiny amount. And it's all, you know, okay, but well, I was going to say at, while I was at Walmart tonight, Grim, I happened to notice they are selling cinnamon there now. Okay, I like, take you know in the vitamins and herbs section. Right. Here's what I'm going to tell you: can, I, I yeah. take uh, it's called Full Spectrum Cinnamon. That's not the brand; it's a Swanson brand. Oh, okay. okay, okay, Full Spectrum Cinnamon. It's mm-hmm. um, uh, 375 milligrams. So what I do when I do my supplements every morning. Um, mm-hmm. I just I pop one of these, and um, I, I don't say that you should take by the Swanson brand or not, but they're a good brand. Um, okay. But, but and, and it's fairly inexpensive. It's you know like six. Is bucks. it like tablets or what? Uh, they're caplets, you know, with the caplet. Yeah, ha- yeah, that's ha- what they had at Walmart. Yeah, too. with, with, yep. with jet, what, what, veg caps or whatever. Um, yeah. So. I, it, it, besides, and besides that, I I know I went to Walmart tonight. I had to. But I am going to be looking at more online buying. Sure. And I know um, iHerb is a very good site. That's where you got that stuff, Grim, right? I got that from probably Swanson. But I use, oh, I use, okay. But I use, iHerb is a very good site. Is that they, still a viable they, site? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you can get, like, you okay. can get a, a pound of, uh, of turmeric uh, uh, there, of uh, organic turmeric mm-hmm. on iHerb for 12 bucks or something. Right. And a I pound. would recommend yeah, you people know how, trying you know, to ch- well, sorry. You, you know how long a pound of turmeric lasts? Oh God, that will last <laughs> three years. Yeah, four yeah. years. I don't know. It, it lasts a while, and it's good. You just put some in your in your whatever food you're making, and it, right. it, it, it's tasty. Right. And, you know, yeah. So. And I would say to everybody, though, I mean, try to like support local businesses instead of corporate ones. Sure. And try to do more online shopping. Like I was talking earlier about me buying merch from people that make Billy stuff. And I like supporting those people. Like I even made a friend in Lansing, Michigan now. She, she, she does awesome work. I bought a few things from her and just a sweetheart. So now I've made a contact in Michigan and I, I have connected with certain people through this process of like buying their homemade items. And it makes you feel so good that, you know, and they sit when they, when you get the stuff in the mail, some of them like write thank you notes and cards and they make, they personalize. And it's so cute. It's so awesome. And it's so, I mean, I was just, I know it sounds dumb, but um, try to, we need to like change our habits. A little, and we've been talking about this for years about supporting local business and mom and pop places as opposed to corporate. But right now it's so important yeah. because these they're going to lose their livelihoods. They're in danger of losing. I mean, 90% of music venues are in danger of closing. Sure. And that's a, probably, a, a, you know. Well, yeah, well, 90% of all, all the businesses in your town. And restaurants, I think. Not, of all, not all places and 90, bars. 90% of all the businesses in your town. Right. And <laughs> we just need to be really thinking grassroots here now. But that's okay. You know, let go of all this this stuff you've been and I know it's hard and I know you believe what you believe and that, I know you want your side to win and you you want to be right, <laughs> but you, you know, you it's time for grassroots now, people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that that's fine. That's fine cuz you know, you're going to get $2,000 a month in your free Fed account. <laughs> and right. that, that sets, that's a setup for disaster. Oh, okay? absolutely! If you guys absolutely. think that's a good thing, you're in the wrong. Okay, you're, you're, you're messed up in the head. You yeah, are. You, you failed okay. math. You failed math 101. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and right. you know, I'm not a math whiz by any stretch, but even I can understand it. So <laughs> you got to, you know, you guys got to put your thinking caps on. I mean. My biggest thing, and we've been saying this for years too, Graham, before all this fucking bullshit, yeah. is think for yourself. Absolutely. Make your own decisions. Do your own research. Don't let the news tell you what to think and what to do with right. your life. Yep. Do you really need a babysitter? Do you need someone telling you what to do? Uh, not are, me. Are you an adult or a child? <laughs> I'm adult. Okay, well, uh, uh, well, I I didn't uh, say adult. I said adult. <laughs> I know what you said. Anyway, I know you did. Anyway, I, I, seriously, if you're a grown up, you shouldn't need someone telling you what to fucking do. Absolutely not. You should not. All right. We're if you want to be childlike, that's your choice. But I would suggest grow up. It's time. Time to, to start for thinking. Yourself. Start on yeah. Susie. All right, we're gonna play some more music here. All right, let's do that, girl. We'll be back, and we will. You all need some church. 
We do. We well, some kind. I don't know what kind. Something. All right. Very nice. In excess. In excess. For Miss Chloe there, and uh, that was called the stairs. Uh, before that, we had Billy Strings uh, doing a uh, taking water for Miss Moose Girl, and we kicked it off with C6 Steve doing the Church of Me. He just released that video yesterday. And uh, Church of Me, the Church of You. Yeah, y'all need some churching of yourself. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, That's hell the best yeah. kind of churching, too. Yeah, it is. It is. Direct, or what do they call it? Um, introspection. Sure, sure. Introspection. Church of Me, the Church of You. I have to make a comment. I'm sorry. I am being bad. Okay. And what what is your comment? I'm talking about baseball. Baseball. I've been very baseball good. Baseball is very good to me. Very good to me. Baseball <laughs> was very good to me. <laughs> I try to do Guido Sarducci. Sometimes I try to like master like impression, being an impersonation or doing and the best I can come up with is fist butter is a very good to me. That's the best I got. We know how to do cheap. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. It's a butter. It's a very, a very good to me. Yeah. How is that, Graham? Is that good? That's terrific. Is it? No, you're just pulling my chain. <laughs> you know it. But I had to say yeah. go brew crew. Because, well, Jerry Douglas, who's this awesome, like, and sly guitar player, is like, he's incredible. Like, he's one of the best in the world, sly guitar players. Yeah. Never heard of him. Look him up. Anyway, he wrote, Welcome Back Baseball. And I wrote, I'm so happy baseball is back. It's something that brings joy in this crazy world. And then some, and then someone put, Go Race. So I had to put, and I had to make another comment and go, Go Bruku. Had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, no, it's just fun. Like, I'm just so happy. Like, my boy Yelly, he broke the Wrigley Field scoreboard today in Yelly. batting and practice. He didn't, they lost to the Cobbies, three to nothing, but yeah. they were at Wrigley Field. Yes, there's no fans, but guess what? You can pay $50 or whatever to take a selfie of yourself and get a cardboard cutout of yourself sitting in the stands. That's what they're doing. Yeah. And they're, they're 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 putting in canned sounds, like canned sounds of a crowd really being there. And then I also saw that they're gonna like virtually put fans in the crowd via computer. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to make it seem like it's a real game. So I'm hoping to fuck that this isn't like a trend and this will stick because baseball has to be real baseball. Okay. It can't be this computer generated fucking shit. Right. You're going to change the game by doing that. And you can't do that. Baseball has been around for a very, very long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Based on butter. Based on butter. Uh, yeah. That's how you have to say it. Vito Sarducci would say it like that. Anyway, girl, I'm just being goofy. Okay. So, you know, it happens. It's, it's, it was, it, well, I heard, I, I think it's, I have a dual effect with the moon. When it's full, I kind of feel weird. But also when it's a new moon, I kind of feel weird. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Like people put so much, so much emphasis on the full moon. But the new moon can do shit too. And make you feel weird and shit. Yeah, too. well that, that just oh. passed. So What? So that just passed a few days ago. It did. And so this is, that's my explanation for Monday. being so fucking goofy. Mon Monday, I... Monday was the new moon. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, we're going to do a couple quick hitters here. And then we'll, Alrighty. And we'll do the last little okay. music thing. Um, all right, so I was going to mention this last week because that, that's when it was more uh, closer to the date than mm -hmm. it is today. Uh, it was the 16th of July. Uh, 75 years ago... Trinity test ushered in the nuclear age changed the world. So, uh, not for the better. Not for the better. Uh, so, no, no. So, the world entered the nuclear age 75 years ago last Thursday uh, at a location in central New Mexico where the United States government carried out the Trinity test, setting off a 
105-pound plutonium-based atomic core. The test was conducted by the U.S. War Department, which is uh, now the Defense Department, and uh, designed uh, defense, right? Uh, designed by the newly created Los Alamos National Lab, LANL, as it's known here, uh, as the uh, closing salvo of the Manhattan Project, uh, directed from uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt to develop a nuclear weapon. Uh, so the explosion, yep. the explosion early on the morning of July 16, 1945 produced a blast equal to about 44 million pounds. And of, where was that? Of, One? At, at, uh, well, they did the test uh, down south here, but uh, the Lionel is up there. In, uh, in New Mexico? Yeah, yeah, in New Mexico. The Lionel Labs it's in the New Mexico. The flats? No, no, they did it in White Sands. White Sands, that's right. That's yeah. right, the White Sands. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that was a test. Was it the first one? Yeah, the first one. Okay, that was the first was one. Okay, the first one. The first explosion of uh, the first detonation. And they had soldiers there probably to view it when they had to wear the goggles. But yeah. they were blasted with radiation. Yep. Anyway, yeah, just they were blasted with radiation. How yeah. nice of the government to do that. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just wanted to mention that one. Uh, right. I was going to do it last week, didn't get around to it. Now, this one okay. uh, mm -hmm. is an old story from 2015. Mm -hmm. Still applies. Yeah, a lot of shit does. Study. Not, not much has changed. I mean, come on. Study. Psilocybin mm -hmm. mushrooms stimulate growth of new brain cells. I believe that because they bet it's been, they've been proven to battle depression. Yep. Anyway. And I, I am testament to this. I can I can be like I could be a case study for this. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I don't have time to get into the article, but here's right. the link. The link will be in, in the post show blog. Um, okay. So uh, we we got to do the last thing go. here. But uh, take those shrooms, people. And like we said, natural is best, people. Natural is best. Take those natural shrooms. Is best. And take that goddamn turmeric and the fucking cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> do all of those things. Well, I don't. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I am. Make your oh. own decision, <laughs> and it would be beneficial, I think, to do those things. But if you don't believe in it. Fine. I have no problem with that, but seriously. Do it. You guys start start paying attention to what's going on, please. Okay, okay. here we go. Here we go. All right. Blah! Black Betty. Christopher Amoroso doing his version of Black Betty there. Awesome. Uh, before that, we had Grace Potter and Friends uh, doing a song called Each Other. All right. Yeah, she just wrote that. Yeah. She wrote that song. Yes, uh, Warren Zevon is Werewolf of London. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, okay. thank you. Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for us folks here tonight. Uh, yes, indeed. Tomorrow is the Dark Table at 2 p.m. Eastern. Yes, baby. With Flash and Grammy. And, uh, flash and Grammy. Uh, fla don't don't be flashing. Flash Grammy. and Grammy powers activate. Don't flash Grammy. All right. Um. <laughs> no, don't flash Grammy. Just flash and Grammy powers activate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll be on Sunday at noon Eastern with the Blues for three hours, right up until Hal Ezzy behind the woodshed opening up the big old yep. can of whoop ass. Can of whoop ass. Then on Monday evening, I, and I, I I'll, I'll be back at my normal time, seven p.m. Eastern. It's all connected. With us all connected and Gary L as a guest host. Yes, that's yeah, you guys do not miss this one. And we'll I'm just saying. We'll be dealing with JF. The, set your alarm, set your calendar, whatever you do. The JFK Connections. Yes, and it's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah all baby. right, well, you all have a great weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you yep. soon. Yep, you know it. See you next week. Yep. Peace. Peace.